Mystique Hogs in this Cornell even offensive attack. That time Worthington sets up justice in case he trouble getting that first pass to the setter Worthington, but today doesn't seem like that's the issue. And my goodness, Madison Baptiste has come out. Mabry has been very good in Ivy League play so far, and so has Stackhouse. Stackhouse with the beauty least. And a good dump there, that one right over the top. Worthington already with 10 assists. Cornell looking for the first set, Harvard looking to extend it. And ending the first set for Cornell, Madison Baptiste. Cornell now starting to put them where they need to go. And that's a kill for Cornell. At the net, but Cornell gets the point there, and Harvard is going to be kicking themselves for not getting that one. And the response out of the Cornell timeout, plays at the net. And then put down by Bennett. Jillian Bennett, the second team all I Last three. Had a season ending injury last year, now getting playing time with other injuries this year. Every single time they had an offensive chance, it works out there, and now they're a point away. And a block will give Cornell the second set. Just serve from Wang. A good one at that. And how about that kill? Madison, then they need it fast. Might Worthing be the start here with a good chance. Worthington set it up to Bennett, and Bennett showing her match. But you know what? Harvard's going to make it a lot harder than they looked like they were going to in the first set. It's a good start for Cornell. Undefeated with Yale. They'll need to finish out this fourth set, and that will help. Casey Justice gets a large reaction. House, and that's the momentum that Cornell needs coming out of the timeout. Cornell looking to close it out, and now Stackhouse with a block right there. Stackhouse is of their own. They need to keep it going. It's 10 wins in a row for Cornell, their longest winning streak since 2003, 